everyone, so I'm super excited to be filming this video for you today. So I have finally got round to sorting out my makeup collection and storage and this video has probably been my most requested video ever. Um, I don't really get many requests for videos but this one I've had so many times and yeah I'm hoping you guys will be excited that I finally managed to film it. Um, it's a horrible day outside today so the lighting is crap, I do apologise, I probably look really weird and disgusting right now but yeah I know it's something that you guys really wanted to see so I've been desperately trying to film it and sort everything out as quick as possible. Um, it's not exactly how I would like it in an ideal world like my makeup collection and storage but it will do for now. So just a little disclaimer, um, I feel like I need to put this in. I I've said this before but the one thing I like to spend my money on is makeup, skincare, beauty products, stuff that I can try out and then review on my channel and kind of um, show on my channel and I have a huge passion for makeup as do all of the other YouTubers out there. We like to spend our money on makeup and I do have a lot, like I don't need all of that makeup I have in my drawers but I enjoy having it and I enjoy using it and I do make sure that I use all of it. So yeah, I'm not bragging about how much makeup I have, I'm not trying to show off, it's just a lot of people love watching these kinds of videos, love seeing how everything is organised, love to kind of get an idea of um, how I lay everything out and what makeup I do have, and I love watching these videos myself, they're my all time favourite videos to watch. So yes, I hope you enjoy this video. So if you'd like to see my makeup collection and how I store everything and how I have everything laid out, then carry on watching. Okay, so this is my makeup unit. This is where I store the majority of my um, kind of makeup. I have my everyday makeup and then the makeup that I don't really use as well also goes in this unit here. It is from Ikea and it's called the Alex unit. You've probably seen it before as a lot of beauty bloggers and YouTubers have this unit and I think it's perfect and I love it. So it just looks like this going all the way down. You've got lots of drawers and then they kind of get bigger as you get towards the bottom. Excuse the rainy mess outside that it is today. I cannot help the weather, but it is gross. Okay, so on the top, um, on the left-hand side, I've got the Copper E that I showed in my previous haul video. That is from Oliver Bonners, and it's just really gorgeous. And then I have a Diptyque candle in the middle, which I got in my Christmas advent calendar. And then on the right, I've just got a little bowl, which is from Urban Outfitters with a few little rings and stuff inside. Okay, so as you can see, I've kind of layered everything out in these little drawers here, which are from Muji. I ordered loads of them online and they come in a lot of handy when you've got a unit like this. So the top drawer is basically um, bases and primers. So at the back here, I've got all of my primers. A few of my favourites are the MAC um, Prep and Prime Moisture Infusion Serum. That's really good. I've got a Max Factor Face Infinity All Day Primer, which is really good as well. And then I just have a few others at the back. Then on the side bit here, I've got another MAC primer. I've then got some setting sprays. My favourite one is the NYX setting spray. That is amazing. It's the dewy finish one. Then here, I've just got a few foundations which I don't really use on a daily basis. Um, they're kind of ones that I want to keep, but I don't really tend to use that often. Um, I've just got some Rimmel, some Bourjois. I've got a BB cream. Um, and yep, some Maybelline, Max Factor, that sort of thing. Then in this little side tray here, I've got just some longer tubes of foundation. So I've got the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum, which is great. I've got my MAC Studio Sculpt, and then I've got some BB creams and CC creams underneath. And then this first tray here is kind of all my everyday favorite um, foundations that I have. I've got the Laura Mercier Silk Cream, Dior Skin Star, um, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light, my brand new um, foundation which I showed in my previous haul which is the NARS All Day Luminous Glow, I think that's what it's called. All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation Glow Foundation which is amazing, I love it so far. I've got a L'Oreal True Match Foundation and my MAC Studio Fix Foundation. Okay, so in this second drawer I've got kind of um, other base products, so face products. At the back I've got my crown brush contour palette which I don't really use but I think it just fits in well with this drawer. I've got a few kind of random odds and ends, um, Benefit What's Up highlighters, some kind of liquid creamy highlighters. Down the side I have a few little kind of contour palettes, I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow which is amazing and then I've got a sleek palette and a naked um, basics kind of face palette. 
Then back here I've got a tiny little square drawer which just has some powders in. My favourite one is this one which is the MAC, um, the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light. I've then got the Healthy Balance powder, another MAC powder, translucent powders. Then down here um, I've just got some concealers, so my brand new one, the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer which I love. I've got some MAC concealers, I've got the MAC Studio Finish Concealer which is the little one in a pot and I love that, it's so great for covering up um, blemishes. What else have I got? I've got my all time favourite Lasting Perfection Concealer from Collection. I then got this little long tray here which is blushes. Um, a few of my favourite ones are the Max Factor Baked Blushes, I love them. I've got some MAC blushes. I have Cubic and Well Dressed. I've got some Sleek Blushes, um, just some random little ones here. I've got this which is so cute, this is a mini NARS blusher. Look how cute it is. It's absolutely tiny and I love it. Then in the next drawer here I've got bronzers um, and some highlighters. So I have two MAC highlighters here. I've got Soft and Gentle and this one here which is Light Scapade which is kind of less of a golden tone. I've then got my Merry Luminizer which I love. I've got some NARS. Um, I've got NARS Laguna Bronzer, two Bourjois Chocolate Bronzers, Hula Bronzer, Body Shop Honey Bronzer and Solar Powder and that's about it. Then in this little drawer back here I just have some odds and ends which kind of didn't really fit anywhere else. Um, but I've got a miniature kind of um, high beam, sunbeam, posse tint, all the kind of miniature benefit things. I've got a Topshop Glow highlighter which I love, a miniature benefit hula. Um, I've got this which is from NYX and it's like a green concealer to cover up redness which is, comes in handy. Moving on to this drawer I now have um, eye products. so. Over here in this little drawer I've got kind of eyeliners, so I've got a few NYX um, eye pencils, I've got an eyeshadow primer by Absolute New York, not sure what that is, I think I've got it in a glossy box. My all time favourite liquid liner which is the L'Oreal um, L'Oreal Super Liner Black Buster, I love that. I've got a little collection liquid gel liner um, and I've just got some random eye pencils and stuff in there. Okay, back here is my eyebrow drawer. So I have my Anastasia Beverly Hill Dip Brow. I've got kind of, I have this product which is like Gimme Brow by Benefit, but it's a lot cheaper. It's by Model Co. It's really, really good. I've got a Benefit Brow Kit, um, some Maybelline Brow Drama Things, my MAC Powder, which is in the colour Brun. I love using this for eyebrow. I then have some mascaras back here, which I don't really use on a daily basis or I hardly use at all. Um, I've got the Maybelline Falsies Flared, um, Miss Manga L'Oreal Paris, I've got a Rimmel Lash Accelerator, um, a Dior Mascara, they're real, and yeah they're just kind of ones that I own but I don't really tend to use because they're not my favourites. Back here in the corner I've just got some little palettes, I've got a Too Faced palette and a few collection palettes which are just like little cheapy ones. Over here I've got two MUA palettes which are the Undress Me 1 and Undress Me 2 palettes. I've got an Inglot palette which I created myself which I absolutely love. I think it's gorgeous and it's just really nice neutral colours. And I've then got this which is my Topshop Smoky Eye palette, love it. Um, I have my Chanel palette which is the, this is in the shade 234 um, and it just looks like this here. Looks like this, it's absolutely gorgeous, I love it, so that one just stays there. And then I have some eyeshadow primers here, which are just the ones you get with the Naked palettes. This little section here is my um, kind of everyday mascaras that I try to use up. So I've got a clear mascara which I use on my brows, I've got the Benefit Roller Lash which I'm using at the moment, um, I've got the Maybelline Great Lash which is a really good mascara, my favourite Maybelline Matte Lash Sensational Mascara, a Bad Girl and a They're Real and a Miniature Chanel one as well. I've got three of the Maybelline Colour 24 Hour Tattoos and then I have this which is a new purchase, it's the MAC, um, a MAC Paint Pot and this is in the colour Bear Study which is a really gorgeous champagne colour. So they're kind of like my eyeshadow bases. And then here I just have a few little kind of odd eyeshadows. I've got two MAC ones in the corner. I've got an MUA one, and Rimmel kind of eyeshadow palettes. I've got two mini bourgeois ones and a Revlon Colourstay palette, which is really, really good. Okay, so moving on to lip drawer, um, I have 
my lip gloss is at the back, so these are kind of my all time favourite lip glosses at the front. I've got three Tanya Burr and three Chanel, and then I've just got some other ones underneath which I don't really tend to use as much. I've then got all of my MAC lipsticks in here, and um, a few of my favourites are Plumful, which is a new one I've got, really gorgeous, um, plummy, kind of ready colour, and another favourite of mine would probably have to be Faux, which is like a perfect kind of nude colour, really love it. Then in here, and I like to keep these upside down so I can kind of see all the colours on the bottom. Um, and I find that having them laid out like this really helps me to kind of wear different ones and not stick to the same ones all the time. Um, I've got a few Topshop lipsticks. I've got um, some Kate Moss ones, which are really good. They're the Rimmel Kate Moss ones. Again, more Topshop. I've got a NYX lipstick um, in the colour Black Cherry. And I love this. This is a really gorgeous deep red colour. I've got some Moisture Shines by um, Natural Collection, I've got two of those. I've got some of the Baby Lips, which are really, really good. I've got some Sleek Colours, and yes, these are just all my lipsticks. Then in this kind of little container here, I have mostly lip balms and lip liners. My favourite lip liner is this one, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk. I've got another Baby Lips, which is more of a moisturising one. I have an EOS lip balm, um, I have my Nooks Rev de Mille got some Vaseline Carmex, Honey Trap by La. I then got a little sleek uh, lip palette which I picked up a while ago which looks like this, really really gorgeous. And then in this container here I've kind of got like odd bits and bobs which didn't really fit with any of the others. So I've got a few kind of lip stains and this is the Revlon Colour Burst Matte Balm in the colour Sultry and this is really gorgeous. Got Burt's Bees Lip glossy thing, I've got some other random lip glosses, I've got this which is a Stila lip glaze in the colour Glow, this is lovely, um, I've got my favourite NYX product here, which is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and this is in a gorgeous kind of hot pink colour, I absolutely love it and this is in the shade um, Antwerp and I really really want some more of those because they're lovely. Okay so from here on the drawers are kind of a little bit mist mangled there don't really make a lot of sense um, in the way I've ordered them but that's because like I said I'm not a hundred percent happy with um, kind of the storage yet I know this looks completely messy but it works and yeah I'm pretty happy with it so in this drawer I've just got random bits I've got some um, micellar water which is from um, Nivea and I tried it out once and I didn't like it but I've kept it in this drawer to kind of do a review I've got some face wipes I've got the simple oil balancing and just some Johnson's ones, I've got a miniature kind of benefit gift set, I've got a Christmas, spare shower gels, and yeah, just random things in there. Okay, so this is my fake tan drawer. I do apologise if it looks a little bit dirty, but fake tan gets everywhere. So I've got a few of the um, mitts, I've got a brand new one because my other one's really dirty. I've then got my all-time favourite fake tan, which is the St. Moritz um, Instant Fake Tan. This is in medium, it does leak though, that's the only downside. And then have loads of other ones which I have tried but I just don't really like as much as my St. Moritz. And then I've got my all time favourite Garnier, um, what is this, No Streaks Bronzer Self Tanning Body Mist. It smells like apricots and basically I use this on my hands and feet because it doesn't make them go too orange. And yeah, just a few other random ones. Okay, so this drawer is very kind of mismatched. Um, this is basically my moisturiser drawer. So it's got kind of all my body lotions. So I have loads of body butters. I've got the argan oil, moringa, passion fruit. I've got two raspberry at the back. I've got cocoa butter. And yeah, I'm just a little bit obsessed with body butters really from the body shop. I've got some body sorbets from the body shop. And then I have my Laura Mercier Bath and Body Ombre Vanilla Souffle Body Cream. That's amazing. Um, I've got some Lizzo 8 Hour Body Cream. I've got this which is from Nip and Fab. This is the um, body lotion which you're supposed to use kind of after exercise. And I've tried it and I really, really love it. I've got this which I love. This is a Vaseline Spray and Go Body Moisturiser in the Cocoa Scent. And um, this is just really, really good. I've got Zoella um, Body Lotion, the Creamy Madly Dreamy. Okay, so moving on to hair drawer. Um, this again is a bit mismatched. I've got a few kind of shampoos that I've picked up and are kind of ready to use. I've got some dry shampoo in here. I've got some coconut oil, which I use on the ends of my hair after I've washed it. 
Um, I have some of the Grow Gorgeous Serum. I've still got some Bleach London Rosé Conditioner. I've got hair bands, and then I just have kind of like hairsprays and volumizing sprays, conditioners, um, coconut oil, L'Oreal Mythical Hair Oil, which is really really good. I've got some Philip Kingsley Elasticizer, and yeah, just all kind of random hair bits and bobs. Okay, so the last drawer is really really random. This has kind of like no label to it at all. I basically have a spare glossy box, which I have filled up and it has all my false lashes in. So I've got some Millie's lashes, um, I've got some Duo Glue, some Isla lashes. These are really, really good for kind of a natural look. Here I've got my um, Coco White teeth whitening set and this is kind of the teeth whitening oils that I got in the set but I just haven't used all of them up yet so I keep them in here. I've got another empty glossy box with nothing in. I've got my uh, Colab dry shampoos, um, some of them are missing, I can see that. I have some deodorants, just some like little leaflets and stuff some Hollister sprays and that is everything. So this is kind of like the second part of my makeup collection and storage. Um, this is my dressing table so it is from Next. It is a few years old though so you probably can't get it anymore. I do apologise. So the main mirror in the middle is from The Range. Again it is a few years old but you can probably find one similar. I then have this um, number 7 mirror which is from Boots, you can still get these, it's really cool, you can plug it into the wall and the ring around the outside lights up so it's really good if you're trying to do your makeup and the daylight isn't too great. I then have these two pots which I keep my makeup brushes in, the one on the right hand side, the white one, then I just have all my face brushes in there and then on the left hand side I have all my eye brushes. I do apologise that these are all really disgusting and gross, I did wash them last week because I thought that's when I was going to film the video but it turned out that I wasn't quite ready to film it. So yeah, the ones on the left are all my eye brushes. And then moving on to the other side of the dressing table, I have a diptyque candle. I've then got my three naked palettes in the middle. Um, I then have the jar on the left, which is from the range, and I just keep cotton buds in there because I think it looks really cute. And then I have my Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede um, perfume, and I just think it looks really gorgeous on my dressing table. So that was my makeup collection. I hope you enjoyed seeing um, how I kind of lay everything out and store everything. Um, I hope it kind of all made sense and it wasn't too kind of mismatched. Yes, I hope it gave you some inspiration for yours. If you have any comments that you want to leave me, then feel free to leave them down below. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're new and you want to see more videos from me. I think that is everything. So yes, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon with another video. Bye!